Header out of Davis. He does have a couple other pitches, but they really don't. It's changes all over the board, though, John. 101. -on -one. And stealing bases. He dislocated his finger on the slide and missed two weeks. 29 for 29, perfect. And the the uh, first time that he got caught stealing. Ouch. I have Dodgers are set up pretty pretty sweet around the All Star game. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. They don't go past the middle of the country for a while, don't they? You were there? I was there. Okay. Rizzo gets hit. Being announced before it happened. Yeah. If it, let it happen. Yeah. Like we all knew what was good. If there's no runs in this inning, the yeah. game will end in a tie. Right. One away for Giancarlo Stanton. Home field advantage in the World Series. That went through 2016. I love that it's back to being. This has led to the perfect storm where. You know, you reward the players that make the took away the home field advantage. That relaxed a lot of managers mm -hmm. and gives them an opportunity. So to your point, when they got a great couple of representatives in the manager. Three and one. That's a walk and they're at first and second. The AL back to 1988. Six in Philadelphia. <laughs> One of them you were barely ready for. Yeah. yeah. Runs and got two losses. That's the beauty of the All Star game. Two Timing's runs. everything. Pit times you gave up two runs and you have two losses. Yeah. One and two. What baseball god did you end? <laughs> oh and two on uh, Josh Donaldson. Teams. It's a really cool moment. When you see the rest of the league that you're competing and checking in, meaning you're one of the best. And, you know, this game as good as you can be. And for that single game, you're you're looking around the locker room and you're going to see the lights. Like, because mine is the introductions when you see all the best players standing there together. Cool, cool moment that you'll never forget, especially when it's your fault. We said you want to get introduced like four times. Seuss. That's the perfect year. And getting introduced in front of, it's a really, really cool moment. But I think the best for me is in that locker room, is a little bit, and getting to see the likes of whoever you're looking, you know, looking up. One, Josh Donaldson fouls it off. Split for all star game. I got a record that'll never be broken. What's up? Three wild pitches in one. <laughs> There's the bouncer to the hole in short. Great play there. So what was the deal? I came in, Steve Avery was in, uh, and I came in with the bases loaded and faced the uh, three. We got crossed up on one, and uh, he had, uh, there's your record. <laughs> there, uh, wow. Matt Carpenter's trying to get into this is loaded here, and he swings and misses. I mean, he's got to have one thought. Every time he's gone to the plate, and it doesn't deviate. Look at these names. Oh and two, Kenny. Barefoot. And I asked him, hey, why were you doing that? And he said it's called grounding. And he hurt. <laughs> so I'll tell you guys, I don't know about you, but I am taking off my shoes. I can't wait to see pictures of that. Is that Ken Rosenthal walking? Did he have shoes on? No, he didn't take <laughs> your shoes and your pants off. Walking through that knee high water. One and two on Carpenter. That's the only the first three run home run in the fifth. Base is loaded with a little rain falling. You can see that kind of take, but he might strike out, he might get out, but he looks so comfortable. Lights it off, stays a lot. Barefoot, bare hand, foul ball. Yeah. Kind of zone. Zen zone right now. 
locked in tonight. Yeah, now the count is four on Matt Carpenter. Third base looking at <laughs> Carpenter because of the because of the shift. Payoff. Carpenter hits a fly ball foul. Just to tag up. Another payoff. Carpenter fouls it again. Twelfth pitch coming for Matt Carpenter. Austin Davis wants a new one. Another 3 2. Loop down the line, just foul. About in the first inning, he sees as many pitches, works as deep of that bat as anybody could be, plays a lot more, but closing in on six pitches per at bat. Game in St. Louis. Takes the walk here. The base is loaded and gets his set. Nineteen twenty, they lost out to Cleveland by a few games. Nineteen fifty-four, the Yankees won hundred three. Cleveland again. I don't think they're missing the postseason in this. No balls, two strikes. Ever had prior to the All Star break? This would be their sixty-third. It's also a particularly late All Star game. Soft bouncer left side. Dahlbeck charges and the score is Stanton, and it's twelve-one Yankees. I always like asking the managers, what would you like to do a little bit differently? Even if everything's of the year, just a little bit of a rough week this week. But he, he really thought that everything that his club at that point and see what they can change moving forward to better situational hitting. Power quite not there. So every kind of Falefa takes a ball 2-0. If you're Boston really assessing your team against the potential other ones that are going to make that because when in the division get into the dance so you're trying to figure out what do you need to secure that the pen and the fact that they've got to get healthy in their rotation. Yeah which end is Jackie Bradley Jr. Nate Valdi and then Devers after next year. This is written in the last couple of days could the Red Sox be sellers. Uh, that and last year that you referenced with the Red Sox. Line drive base hit center field. And the hits for Lefra. Fourteen to one. Back and said, let me wear this. Forty pitches. Neal comes to the plate. And he shoots a base hit the other way. Is the third four run inning of the game for the Yankees? Four in the first, four in the fifth, four in the eighth. You got to do it every three innings, right? 400 used to be information a long time ago, hmm. I think. I guess but didn't really quantify because it's 042. Jaron Duran on the ground is second. Backhand play made with Kevin Burkhart. Nine and a half game lead for the Dodgers. As Dahlbeck grounds one to short. Kiner Falefa victory. Barn a little rally here for the Yankees over the Red Sox since June 19th. Seven runs in the ninth inning that day. They got five home runs. Home run for the Yankees that day. Grape yourselves off of the deck. Play a day game tomorrow to finish off the first half. Kevin Plowacki takes a strike. Boy, you're the Red Sox. Plowacki to right center field. Extra bases, a two out double. And the first hit for the Red Sox since the first inning. And a pretty good offensive team went silent after the first inning, and those guys are pretty good success off of Cole the yeah. last couple times. So maybe they can build a day. JD Martinez on the ground to third. Next time we see him will be in line. This one from Aaron Judge. Now 33 on the season. Two home runs for pretty incredible display. Hard to duplicate, but they're in a good spot. Mm -hmm. 63 and 28.